Hello students, let us learn general science for class 7 from the book Science Square. Today we are going to learn chapter 7, weather, climate and adaptation. In this chapter we are going to discuss about how weather and climate are formed and how plants and animals are adapted to the particular weather and climate. Let us begin the chapter. We know that weather plays an important role in our lives. In cold weather, we protect ourselves by wearing woolen clothes, while in hot weather, we use cooling devices such as fan, cooler, AC, etc. In rainy season, we will wear raincoats and use umbrella to escape from the rain. We plan our everyday activities based on the prevailing weather conditions. Let us now discuss more about weather, climate and how animals get adapted to it. Let us discuss about weather. Weather is a day-to-day -day condition of atmosphere at a particular place. It is affected by factors such as temperature, air pressure, wind, cloud, humidity, rain, snow, frost and visibility. The weather forecaster or meteorologist decipher the weather based on the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc. These are known as the elements of weather. However, all the changes in the weather are caused by the sun. If you happen to see in a, any weather report, you can see that the maximum and the minimum temperatures are recorded every day. Do you know how these temperatures are recorded? These are special thermometers for this, used for this purposes. That thermometers are called maximum temperature by maxima thermometers and minimum temperature by minimum thermometers. The maximum temperature of the day usually occurs in the afternoon, while the minimum temperature occurs in the early morning. Let us now discuss about climate. Weather and climate are closely related. The typical weather of a region lasting for over a long period will call it as a climate. When the temperature at a place is high most of the time, then we say that the climate of the place is hot. If there is heavy rainfall on most of the days in the same place, then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and wet. When the temperature is high during the most part of the year, but during winter it lasts only for a few months, then we will say temperature is quite low. This region will receive very little rainfall. This is the typical climate in desert condition. That's why deserts are very hot and dry. The northeastern India reserves receives rain for a major part of the year. Therefore, we can say that the climate of the northeast is wet. Let us see how climate and adaptations go together. Animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live. Animals living in very cold and hot climate must possess special features to protect, them, to protect themselves against the extreme cold or heat. Features and habits that help animals to adapt to their surroundings are due to the evolution. Let us discuss about polar regions. The polar regions are covered with snow. It is very cold for most part of the year. For six months, the sun does not set at the poles, while for other six months, the sun does not rise. 
In winters, the temperature can be as low as minus 37 degrees Celsius. We shall discuss animals such as penguins and polar bear which adapt in the polar regions. So these two are common animals which can be seen in the polar regions. Let us see what adaptation do polar bear undergo. Polar bear will have a white fur. We know that it is not easily visible in the snowy background. So its predator, predator and prey are unable to see it. It has a strong smell, sense of smell. So it can locate and catch spray during those seasons. It has long curved and sharp claws and so it can walk on the ice easily. It has a layer of fat under its skin. So it gets insulated its body from cold and keeps itself warm. It has two thick layers of fur to keep it warm in the cold weather. So white fur, strong sense of smell, long curve and sharp claws, fat under its skin, two thick layers. These are the adaptations of polar bear in polar regions. Let us see the adaptations of penguin. Penguin will have a body shape. It is also white in color and merges well with the white background. It has thick skin and a lot of fat to protect it from cold. More or less the adaptations of the polar bear and penguin will be the same. The bodies of penguins are streamlined and their feet have webs making them good swimmers. You can see the flippers useless for flying. Wings are paddle shaped flippers that power it through the water with a very high speed of 9 mph. Meter per hour. Feathers, you can see the outer plumage is waterproof. Below the plumage is a thick layer of stiff, sharp feathers. Let us see, discuss the characteristics of migration. Fishes can remain under cold water for long. Birds must remain warm to survive. They, so, they migrate to warmer regions when winter sets in. They come back after the winter is over. Tropical rainforest. Tropical region has a generally a low hot climate because of its location around the equator. These regions get plenty of rainfall. The climatic conditions in rainforest are highly suitable for supporting an enormous number and a variety of animals. That means we can see huge fauna and flora in the tropical rainforest region. Since the numbers are large, there will be an intense competition for food and shelter. Let us discuss the adaptations of the animals living in the tropical rainforest. Red eyed frog, sticky pads to help them climb the trees. Monkeys, we know that they have a long tail to grasp the branches of the tree. Bird thakan is a long, large beak to reach the fruit or branches. Lions and tigers will have thick skins and sensitive hearing. Elephants trunk and tusk. The trunk is also used for picking up food and its tusk or modified teeth which can tear the bark of the trees. Let us have a chapter recap. Weather is a day-to-day -day condition of atmosphere at a particular place. A region's climate is its general pattern of a weather over a long period of time. 
migration is another means to escape the harsh cold conditions in cold climatic conditions animals adapt to withstand the cold by hibernation and with the help of a fur and fatty layer on their body in hot climatic condition animals adapt to protect themselves from the heat by escaping into underground burrows this ends chapter 7